Hi friends, welcome to BiologyExamsFory.com. Today we are having a very short video that help you to identify autosomal dominant trait from X-linked dominant trait in pedigree analysis problems very easily. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin. So this is the typical pedigree chart of X-linked dominant trait. How can we know that this is X-linked dominant? There is a confusion with X-linked dominant and autosomal dominant. How can we be sure that this is X-linked dominant? Point number one. As you can see, this is the affected father. There is no male-to-male -male transmission. The offsprings, the males are not affected. Point number two. All daughters are affected. If father is affected, all daughters are affected. These are the two key points of X-linked dominant traits. Let's take the genotype for better understanding. So these are the male gametes. XDD for disorder. This is the chromosome with the mutation. So XD and Y are the gametes as father is affected and X X, this is the gametes of the mother. Then the offsprings are XDX, XDX, and XY, XY. This red indicates both the females are affected. So if father is affected, all daughters will also get the disorder. As father passes only Y chromosome to the sons, the sons are not affected. Hope this is clear. Now the third point. If the mother is affected, as you can see, both daughters and sons are also affected. The chance is 50%. Here also let us take the genotype. As you can see, this is the genotype of the father. X and Y are the gametes. Mother is affected, therefore XD, X is a dominant trait. Then the offsprings are XDX and XX, XDY and XY. As you can see, 50% of the offsprings are affected. Both male XY and XX, both sons and daughter are affected. Hope this is clear. Now moving into autosomal dominant trait. In the case of autosomal dominant trait, affected children are born to affected parent. As you can see here, both parents are not affected, therefore there is no disorder in this generation. Then both males and females are affected in equal frequency. Here as you can see, both parents are affected. In offsprings also you can see both males and females. Son is affected, daughter is affected. If the parents are heterozygote, the probability is 75% of the offsprings will also be affected. So let's take this, you can see this D, capital D and small d, this is autosomal and capital D and small d, heterozygous condition, this gametes from the mother and gametes from the father, then the offsprings are capital D, capital D, capital D, small d, capital D, small d and small d, small d. Here the proportion is 75% of the offspring will be affected, that is 3 by 4. This is the case with autosomal dominant trait. Here also you can see out of three, two are affected. Point number two. That is if one of the parent is affected. Here you can see the father is affected. If it is an excelling dominant trait, then definitely the daughter will also get affected and son will not get the disorder. This will rule out the possibility of X-linked dominant trait. Here what is happening is one of the parent is affected, therefore the gametes are capital D small d. Here it is small d small d as this is a dominant trait. Then the offsprings are capital D capital D capital D capital D then small d small d small d small d. This uh, green indicates this is not affected whereas this Red indicates these offsprings are affected, indicating that minimum 50% of children are affected. Here also you can see out of two offsprings, one is affected. So the easiest way to 
differentiate between X-link dominant and autosomal dominant is this feature that is in the case of X-link dominant inheritance if the father is affected all daughter will also get the disorder and there is no male to male transmission sons are not at all affected hope you are clear with this concept and we have given a detailed video on pedigree analysis and you can refer that for more thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforyou.com